If you're a chocolate fan, I've got the recipe for you today. We're gonna to be making a rich, chocolatey, decadent, semi-homemade, super easy chocolate trifle dessert. I know you're gonna love it, so let's go ahead and get started. This recipe only requires four main ingredients. You're gonna need one box of fudge chocolate cake, one box of chocolate instant pudding, two containers of thawed whipped topping, and some Butterfinger candy bars, and that's it. The beauty of this recipe is some of these elements can be made ahead of time. So yesterday I went ahead and prepped the box cake mix according to the package directions. I made the instant pudding according to the package directions, and it's been in the fridge cooling overnight. And I went ahead and crushed up all the Butterfinger toppings so that they were crushed and ready to go. So everything is ready to assemble, and this dessert is gonna come together in less than five minutes. You're gonna need either a trifle dish or a large decorative glass bowl that it's about four and a half to five quarts in depth for this recipe. So I baked this cake just in a regular 13 by nine baking dish and I'm gonna go ahead and crumble this up into large crumbles and I'm gonna take about a half a cup of these crumbles and reserve it, set it off to the side for the decorative topping to finish it all off. To start this trifle, you're gonna layer in half of the cake crumbles in the bottom of the trifle dish. And then you're gonna take half of the chocolate pudding and spoon that right on top of the chocolate cake, spreading it evenly across all of the layers. And the trick with building a trifle is actually putting the ingredients all the way up to the edge of the glass. So you have your distinct cake layer and with this pudding layer you want to make sure that you spread it evenly across but also make sure that you press a little bit of it up against the glass so that you can see a distinct cake layer and the distinct pudding layer. It can be really easy to hide liquidy or more pudding like soft textures in a trifle dish and not be able to see them. So make sure to push just a little bit of each layer up to the edge so that you can see beautiful distinct layers as we build this trifle. After you've done that with the pudding we're gonna do half of the whipped topping same thing make sure that this is thawed so that it's really easy to spread across spread it evenly across on top of the pudding and then we're gonna finish the first half with the crushed Butterfinger candies and with these candies I actually like to take it and sprinkle it around the edge first so that again you can see that layer and then I'll go and spread it evenly across the middle after that we're gonna repeat that just one more time so you're gonna do another layer of cake the last half of the pudding, the last half of the whipped topping, and then for the final layer, you're gonna combine the last of the crushed Butterfingers and that reserved half cup of cake crumbles. You're gonna mix that together and spread that evenly all across the top of the trifles so that it is beautifully decorated. Once you've got this all beautiful and complete, you're gonna pop this in the refrigerator and let it chill and set for about 30 minutes. After that chill and set time is up, go ahead and remove it from the fridge. This is a beautiful dessert to serve at any dinner party or even bring over to friends and family's house that you need to bring a dessert for. It's chocolatey, it's decadent, everybody's gonna love it. You can even switch up the candy bars inside if you want to kind of switch up the flavors. It doesn't matter and all of it can be prepped the day ahead so that assembly takes you less than five minutes which is a time-saving hack that we all love and need. For this delicious recipe, head on over to KentuckyLiving.com. Everything that you need to know, plus so many other delicious reader recipes can be found over there. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today, and until next time, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.